Is this Art Hollywood Flores? It's me. Can I see a documentary about you? I think you did. I'm ashamed of it. Well, ashamed? <laughs> what do you mean? Why, because you put the weight back on some of it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a phony. Big fat phony. <laughs> Clickbait! <laughs> Another detail here, okay? This leg right here, um, you don't want it fully extended straight like this. If it's fully extended straight, and if you can see my toes on A1 right there, it's it's kind of off. So if A1 grabs my knee here and pushes, sometimes that happens because you're fully extended. So now if I'm here and my leg is slightly bent, curling my toes, keeping tension here, so when A1 pushes here, I'm a lot stronger. And then another key too is when this guy does that, never just let him have control of your leg. Pull and fight there with the grips. Now I'm here. Pass. Rotate. Up. Switch your angle here. Now once I switch my angle, pushing his hips, walking the knee up. Grab the elbow, switch, switch. And now right here, hug the hips. You remember what we do with our hips? Either disconnect, okay? Or I have to sit here, curl my toes, and drop my hips inside. Either one is okay, right? There, or disconnect here from him from bumping me, okay? Everybody got it? Yep, basic stuff, right? All right, let's go, ready? One, two, three. Sweating. You got sweaty? Yes. It must be because I didn't go to church.
But I gotta say, at least we were here to party on Saturday. Showed up to party. We're talking about skip beer. <laughs> but didn't show up with her gi, but she had it coming. Um, she was kind of one of the originals to the new girls pack that they're developing. So she puts in work too, minus the little injury she had, Sarah. Some of the times Cruz is gonna want to like posture up to break this grip. Here. So what I do as I feel him posturing, kind of release, okay, and then I grab and I can sit up and reach here. Here. Okay. Or I can go here like this and just kind of stretch them and then grab right here. It's probably easier. Okay. What I prefer is as I sit up, if I can't grab the bell, the pants right here is actually better if you can get in. But you can make that switch when you go to the floor. It's probably better. Once you make his butt sit, it's probably better to reach in here and grab the pants. It's a legal grip. Because the pants, everywhere he goes, his pants go. Right? Wherever his pants go. Okay? Hopefully. If those, if those chonies, if he has the right chonies on. Just don't grab his thumb. So, point is, we're here like this, stretch him out, and switch the grip here. Now, I can bring him back in here. This is the two ways. I'm gonna go here, top foot is gonna go like underneath his belt. Okay, so I'm kind of like this, pushing him, forcing his, his body down. Now, as I go there, I'm gonna cross my feet. Okay, there's multiple ways of doing it. I can leave my feet here, I'm gonna go here, okay, as I invert. Oh man. Here, grab the back leg. Now, as I'm going, my bottom hand will switch to the back here. Here. That's what everyone's been waiting for, okay? The reason why, this is not my particular game, okay? But it goes back to our philosophy here is that you gotta be somewhat first and multiple different guards and attacks on you. So that way, if you go back, you know, Mike traveled a lot, so if he's out in Wisconsin, somebody's barrel bowling him, he feels comfortable with defense. Same thing with everybody here. If we get a visitor, you wanna be comfortable at a tournament. You want to be versed in any attack that's that's ready for you, okay? So it's just more so to, to understand the concepts and learn how to defend, it, okay? What I do is climb here, okay? <laughs> Sometimes I climb here. This Aww, what was that? Some water spilled, I think. Oh. Did water come out of that, Anna? No, I'm just shitting. I think, I think, I think it was the phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when Frank's escaping, his he needs to protect the choke. So if both of his hands are gonna go on the forearm. Okay, just like that. Pulling down. Okay? Making sure your partner or your opponent can't raise it up into your neck. Okay? So now, Frank's gonna use his feet. Let's turn this way just a bit. Right, a little bit more. Okay, right there. So what we're gonna do, Frank's gonna use his feet to push back. Push up and get his head on the other side. Okay, now Frank's always trying to look to the sky and twist his hips to the floor until his back gets completely on the floor. Twist, twist, twist. Now once his back is completely on the floor and away, now Frank can worry about shrimping and coming into him <coughs> and coming up, just like that. But don't do it until you completely get on the floor, okay? Very simple. <laughs>
here like this, what we don't do, remember, chest to the shoulder blades, keeping our weight here, okay? Now, you go in here like this, twisting my hips facing this way. Don't step with this leg first, because if Adam reaches out and grabs my leg, my leg, not my ankle, here, and I try to turn like this, a good wrestler, a good guy that has big guns, is going to just come just turn the corner on you, okay? And he'll put you back on your back. Okay, so I'm here, Adam steps, grabs my leg. Now I finish the position. Now I go back here, now I have him in a crucifix. Okay? Now I'm gonna go here, lock my crucifix here, now I have the seatbelt. Okay? That's the reason why we do this, because we can stay offensive here. Okay? Seatbelt, now I'm trapping his, his arm, triangle here, hips down. Okay, you guys got it? What are you? That's one right here. What are you? So sure. I'm going here. Okay, pushing my hips down. That's the arm, right? Yeah, that's the arm. Bone. Okay. So I'm using my hips here, trapping his wrist here, using my pressure from my hips. So you gotta get that above him. No, it's just worried about trapping here. Okay, figure four into here, and then I can, if I have to go down here like this. I can go this way like that. You see how he's tapping, so I'm going here. Figure four. Okay. Now, second thing I'm gonna do, okay, once I have here and I don't feel like I have that, I can roll or I can sit through. Okay, I can roll this way, I can shoulder roll this way, I can sit through. I usually just like to go here, sit through like this, here. Stay here, arm bar here, like that. Stay trapped here, and lift the hips like that. One of the things I don't want to do is allow his, in my seat belt, allowing his body to be down here like this. Because if he's too low, he's gonna start working an escape, okay? He, it's easier for him to start going like that, okay? So I gotta make sure I still have that chest to back relationship here like this, as I finish right here. Okay, so that's two arm bars, right? Same position, one's from the top. When you sit through or roll through, the next thing I do is when I'm here like this, Adam's gonna be reaching for my hand. Hand fight, here. Okay, this hand's reaching for the shoulder here, climbing ear to ear, use your shoulder to put that pressure, okay? You guys got it? So you're, the, the Cho you're choking him with the arm it's just arrested? A it's a rear naked choke. That's all it is. All I'm doing is going here like this, crawling. Okay, yeah. Him. Adam's really sensitive today. You're it's, right. my apple, it's my Adam's apple, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a, not an apple, it's a damn pear. <laughs> it's literally the Adam apple. Can you go all the way? <laughs> yeah. It's my apple. It's Adam's apple. But On the outside a lot of guys can go here double grips creating tension on the on the leg but I like to go just uh, thumb over like this controlling his uh, ankle just like so here now I use my legs to lean against him now once I get that action reaction I sidestep as I clear over keeping this grip okay now I'm gonna shift all my weight after I grab right here. So I reach across, allowing my armpit and my arm to block. Now I shift here. Now once I'm here, push your shoulder down, cross face, this hand blocks the hips on the floor. Then I pull them to just like so. All right, let's get it. All right, let's go, ready? One, two, three. My name is Mario Lopez, I'm a uh pure blue belt. I've been training uh, four years of jiu-jitsu. Um, I had to miss two years because of a knee injury and working uh, late hours at a job, but uh, things worked out for the better and now I'm back training again. I've been a white belt for six years and just recently got promoted to blue belt. 
I think the best advice to white belts is come to practice. Just keep coming to practice, get as much practice you could get. That means a lot of reps, a lot of looking and demonstrating the technique. So just come to practice and you'll be all right. <laughs> the goal, oh man, the goal is, I'm crazy to say, but same thing, come to practice. Just keep coming to practice, you know, learn as much as you can. Help out too, help out, pass the knowledge to the other ones, you know, around you. You know, it, it makes you better and get a lot of muscle memory, memory, you know, if you just come to practice a lot. For anybody that's interested in doing jujitsu, just come try it, you know. Try it. It is for everybody. You could be tall, short, big, small, boy, girl, male, female. It literally is for anybody. So give it a try and you'll, you'll be surprised what, what the benefits you could do with jujitsu. So for any newcomers, just try it. Try it and see for yourself.